if you think about this question of defaults, what it really relies on and the fact that we don't really know what to do. You know, if you grew up in a country and your parents told you to always donate your organs or always buy jam or always maximize your retirement funding, none of these interventions would make sense. But the issue is that we just really don't know what we want. And because we don't know what we want, we use the environment as a guide to what we want. We use the environment as the way to influence our thinking and therefore change uh, what we end up choosing. So for now, what I want to do next is I want us to think about the extent to which we don't know our preferences. So think about the following. Imagine I asked half of you to think about three reasons why you love your significant other, and I asked the other half to think about ten reasons why you love your significant other. Now, if you don't have anybody right now, think about somebody you want to be with rather than somebody you left, but think about it. Imagine you asked to think about three reasons. Imagine you asked to think about ten. And I would give you maybe ten minutes to think about one of those things. And at the end of the 10 minutes, I would say, OK, please stop and tell me, how much do you love your significant other on a scale from 0 to 10? And what do you think you'll buy them for their birthday? And what would you buy them for your anniversary? And you, do you think you'll be together in a year, three years, five years, 10 years? What do you think? Should it matter whether I ask you to think about three reasons or 10? Of course, it shouldn't matter because I didn't tell you anything new. It's not as if I came to you and I say, you know what, I just met your significant other, what a wonderful, warm, kind human being, I was just amazed. There was no information. I only asked you to reflect about somebody you know very, very well. Well, does it matter? Of course it does. I wouldn't present it otherwise. So who do you think declare greater love to the significant other? People who are asked to think about three reasons or people asked to think about ten reasons? Here's the thing. The reality is that it's very, 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 very difficult to come up with 10 reasons. So what happens to people who are asked to think about 10 reasons? They get stuck. They get stuck on reason 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as they get stuck, they say to themselves, how much possibly can I love this person? And because of that, they reduce their understanding of how much they love the significant other. And because of that, people who are asked to think about three reasons declare greater love then people ask to think about 10 reasons. By the way, just as a comment, I should say, it, you don't have to have 10 reasons to love somebody. Maybe one reason is enough. It's not about that it's really important to have 10 reasons. But when you tell people to think about 10 reasons and they fall short, that standards make them think that they are somehow something is not OK with their relationships. The same thing, by the way, works with BMWs. It turns out that there are no 10 reasons to buy a BMW. And you ask people to think about 10 reasons, they get stuck, and they say, maybe I don't need one. And I don't know if to admit it or not, but I use the same trick in teaching. At the end of each class, when I teach in front of an audience, the dean likes to see a high teaching evaluation. So one of the easiest things to do is to, just before the students fill in their evaluation for the term, I ask them to think about 15 ways in which this class could be improved. Presumably 15 are too many, they run short, and they come up to the conclusion, this was a fantastic class, and this is how they feel the end of the year evaluation. Now, if I did that in the, big, in the middle of the semester, the 15 reasons, they would probably forget. But if I do it just before they fill in the end of year evaluation, now I can change their momentary mindset, their momentary understanding of how good this class is, and then I can get higher teaching evaluation.